almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not, Not too bad much. for a guy who just got out of the slam. All right, all right. Listen, the next few hours, or anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. There's <laughs> the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a second. Wow. Wait a minute. Oh, go up here. Let's do it. Oh boy. Hey, a carton of blues, if you please. Give me a carton of blues. Over there. Whoa. Bingo. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. Homeless person. Hi, I'll take a box of reds. I'll take a box of reds. The reds, Vito. <laughs> These people have the strangest voices. I press the button. Move it, Vito. I'm Cotton trying. I'm pressing friggin' E. It's not happening. Doesn't want to. Why? Oh, I'm not on the right buttons. Vito, wake up and troll Cotton. I'm reds. trying. There we go. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> What's the color red look like? I forgot. Yeah. He's watching me. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Because the light changed. What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fork over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf. And it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up! You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Uh-oh. No, Shit. not the Molotovs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, Porky? What do I gotta say? Oh god. That's what I got. That's not good. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. Um, um. Alright, let's okay, get then. one of these fucks and teach them a lesson. What? Oh. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got him. I got it. Oh, oh, oh go. that was not good. Ah, shit. Now what? Oh, what? Shit. We should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone. I didn't do that. Quote. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Pretty. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. Is down there. <coughs> Dang it! Yet your grandmother speeds and runs into walls. I don't think so. Okay. Let's see this. Come on, just use the friggin' phone. Uh, yeah. That guy. What's his face? Eddie. Eddie, it's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? Oh, God. You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay, Crazy Horse, yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody oh. fucks with us. No shooting, though. So it looks like just another gang fight. 
I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right, sure. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Or will we? All right, we gotta meet Steve in front of the crazy Where'd horse. you come from? The good news is he's gonna help us out. Yeah. The bad news is Eddie wants his money back. Trap for a big grand of it. Shit! You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. Oh, Eddie was fucking pissed oh, on the so phone. Pretty. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick two thousand dollars worth of shit out. Oh, oh that's in pursuit of a hit and run driver. Didn't do it for Eddie. He works for Copy Derek's, Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? <laughs> Even though you're working for Eddie, we all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. He's walking here. It's like the most overused line in the city ever. God. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Dude. Ten four. Oh, I'm just trying to get out of here. Oh God. Oh, wait, I can lose him with these trucks. Oh yeah. Not quite as agile as you might think. Make it no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I told you this. Don't do it. Ah, it's all good. And then you just forget I ever existed. Yeah, that's how it works in real life. Dude, that guy didn't care. Just straight past him. Slow the fuck down before you get pulled over. Nah. What? Oh God. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey. Marty? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, uh... Well, kids gotta learn sometime. Okay, why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, three those fucking teeth. assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut up, today? kid. I'm talking here. So, like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And, well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's fucking beautiful! So wholesome right here. Oops! Ah, uh, oh, those eggs. So beautiful. And one more bit. Okay, that's enough. Let's Come on. leave them a little fresh. Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, well, Steve. Sounds like fun. Great. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. That'll teach them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, All you're right. freaking annoying. Now we go to the foundry. What? No, but after Get those... in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. Okay, I hope See there's a cutscene or a save point sometime soon. It better be. Oh, Wells. Dude, <laughs> calm down. Let's go outside and work on your curveball. Neato! Big Rick Red Cigarettes. 
Jesus, that was fast. Dude, and they're gone. They just disappeared. That makes sense. Oh, hey, it's a trailer song. <coughs> How'd you already get out of the car and stuff? Come on, save point anytime now. Hey, how'd you get in here? Wow. Followed the fucking yellow brick road. <laughs> Next. Ha, <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Let them have it! Uh, saving. Cover me. What do you know? Okay, this is a good place to stop, so... Next time we'll kill these guys for no reason because, you know, killing guys is cool, apparently. So, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye. I told you not to speak to me in public. We'll meet tonight at the place we discussed. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I have no idea.